Well, I could say that intro was pretty accurate. Yeah, especially since Kai just finished our last segment 10 minutes ago. I almost got hit by a car in the student parking lot. Well, since you guys didn't listen to our parking lot etiquette from last time, Izzy, Kai Blackwell, put together a video showing off your whips, not your bad driving. Good, Good morning, morning Woodstock. Woodstock. I'm Isabel. And I'm Kai. And we are bringing a new segment to you guys called Woodstock's Whips. We get to review the one and only motorcycle in the student parking lot. Today. You know him. You love him. It's Nick. Let's get to it. Uh, my name is Nicholas White and I drive a CF Moto 450 SS. I got the bike like two months ago and I don't know, I just felt like getting a bike at the time because I had enough money to buy one. I haven't done any performance modifications, the only thing I've done to it is just an exhaust. I'm probably just going to smoke out the windscreen and then probably get a fender delete and wrap it. That's probably about it. <laughs> It's pretty cool to know not everybody is driving a car. I could never drive a motorcycle to school. Same here. I'm pretty sure I'd fall off. You know who else fell off? UGA's football team. Right? That game against Ole Miss was pretty rough. Good thing Ryan put together a video giving us a recap of this past week's college football performances. Ryan, your sports news man. WTV on Channel 7. Good morning, Woodstock. I'm Ryan, and I'm here with last week's college football recap. Last week, Virginia pulled an upset on my Panthers by five. Ohio State blew out Purdue by 45. Georgia Tech pulled an upset on Miami by five. Texas beat Florida by 22. Ole Miss beat Georgia by 18. Indiana beat Michigan by five. Tennessee beat Mississippi State by 19. Notre Dame beat Florida State by 49. Penn State beat Washington by 29. Alabama beat LSU by 29. Here are some good college football games to watch this weekend. My Panthers play Clemson at 12 o'clock on ESPN. Louisville plays Stanford at 3.30 on ACC Network. And Tennessee plays Georgia on ABC at 7.30. And that was last week's college football recap. Thank you. Even though Carson Beck may not have the talent Georgia needs this week to beat Tennessee, Woodstock sure does. Dylan, Jabril, and Grace made a video to showcase all the talent we have here at Woodstock High School. What's up, man? This is Jabril. And I'm Dylan. And we're your hosts for Woodstock Got Talent. What better people? So today we have the Cheer Swim Squad with our other host, Grace. So anyway, let's see this talent, man. They're amazing. Hi, I'm Emily. I'm Abby. I'm Madison. And I'm Grace, and this is our Woodstock's Got Talent. But that wraps up our first Wasaka at Talent. We have a whole bunch of talent at the school and they did amazing. Go ahead and scan that QR code, send your link in. I'm Jabril. And I'm Dylan. And that wraps up our first one. Make it a great day, Woodstock. Wow, Woodstock really has some talent. If you'd like to be featured on Woodstock's Got Talent, DM us on Instagram at WoodstockWTV7. On another note, it's November, the month to give thanks. In spirit of it, Ava and Chloe went around asking you all what you're thankful for. Let's take a look. Good morning, Good morning Woodstock. Woodstock. I'm Ava Nichols. And I'm Chloe Reese. And we're asking you guys what you guys are thankful for. <laughs> I'm here with Adeline. And Adeline, what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for all the friends I've made since I moved to Woodstock and my boyfriend and Jesus Christ. Love you all. <laughs> Thank you. I'm here with Preston Sudbury. And Preston, what are you thankful for? My good friend, Billy Hill. 
I'm here with Sophie. And Sophie, what are you thankful for? Uh, Fortnite. I'm here with Mr. Henderson. And Mr. Henderson, what are you thankful for? Uh, I'm thankful for my family, my friends, um, everyone I get to interact with on a daily basis, and all my kids and colleagues. Thank you. We're here with Haley and Brianna. What are y'all thankful for? My friend Haley. What are you thankful for? My best friend Brianna. Aww. Today we're here with Mr. Ingham. What are you thankful for? Um, pretty much everything. I'm happy for, I'm thankful for the life I have, for the job I have, for the people I'm around, my family, um, even difficult days. I like difficult days because they teach me to be thankful for the ones that are easy. So pretty much everything. Thank you. I'm Adeline. I'm Tony. What are you thankful for? Uh, life, family, and my girlfriend. Aww. That man on the street really got me in the Thanksgiving mood. I can't wait for all the family and food. It's one of my favorite holidays. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm more of a Christmas person. Well, lucky for you, Kai. Quentin, Kai Blackwell, Isaac, and Hayden put together a silly little interview for you to get you guys in the Christmas spirit. Let's take a look. Go we'll play with Santa, buddy. Your dad's busy. Okay. Hey, buddy. Come take a picture. I'm Frosty, the photographer. I'm going to take your picture. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Welcome to this very spooky interview with our guest, Mr. Klaus. Good morning, Mr. Amateur Interviewer. Amateur, i like for you Calm to Calm down. Didn't mean to ruffle your delicate little feathers. Take a seat. I'm not gonna listen to you, Mr. 110 people last seen with me. Now tell me, what's it like serving life in prison? I'm curious. Ignoring that clear jab at me, I bake quite often. Care for a gingerbread man? Yeah, sure. To the second order. Thank you. This looks great. Terrific. Um, say, hey, how do you make these in prison? You've had a bribery? You got married in prison? What? No, not bribery. Bribery. Not, let me ask you a question. That's not how interviews work. How is it to wake up in the morning in a terrible... Nerds! Wait a second. Didn't we leave him by himself in there? No, I Oh, God. Uh -oh. I've made a list, I've checked it twice, I already know who's naughty and nice. Does that gingerbread man remind you of anybody? Yeah, it kind of looks like, oh God! I made those people not tasty. They taste a lot better with milk and candy canes. <laughs> uh. Uh, that was something else. <laughs> yeah, very strange interview. Well, in my opinion, the true meaning of Christmas is spending time with family and loved ones. And that's why Charlene took time to interview Miss Gilbert and learn more about her and her life. Let's take a look. Good morning, Woodstock. I'm Charlene Mendez, and I got the chance to interview Miss Caroline Gilbert, a new WHS chorus and orchestra teacher, but also a 2018 Wolverine graduate. Always want to pursue music education degree? Always no, but very early yes. Okay. I've known by age 9 or 10, that's when I started um, mm -hmm. being in band, I was a clarinet player. I was a clarinet player in fifth grade, a player with uh, Ms. Dito at Carmel Elementary. So I was like, well, I'm going to be a music director for the rest of my life. And then I got to middle and high school, uh, when I had some really supportive teachers. Um, and at that point, I was like, I want to be able to do that. So that's when I fell in love with the education side. Um, and I had decided by late middle school that I wanted to teach music. Transitioning from being a Woodstock High School graduate to being a teacher here, what are some differences from like then versus now that you see as like kind of crazy? So it's it's weird. It feels like a completely different building. Like it, <laughs> it doesn't feel like 
I went to school here anymore because yeah. so much has changed. Only your faces. Some of the teachers that are still here taught me. Sorry. Um, <laughs> for, for the most part, it's, you know, I'm, I'm here and I'm, I'm doing a job. There's a lot of growth that happens. Outside of school, what are you doing in your free time? I got a second job. I, um, I, sing, at, uh, I sing with the choir in Buckhead um, at Pastry Road United Methodist Church. I'm one of their staff singers, so I'm usually there rehearsing or performing if I'm not here doing rehearsals and performances. <laughs> um, but other than that, I love to go um, love to support live musicians around. Um, you can find me and my fiance at a concert, a comedy show. We just went to a comedy show this last weekend. Or gosh, my little cute hobbies, I'm a Lego set builder. I okay. love Lego sets. Um, I have all of the floral ones. That's usually what I get for my birthdays. So have started doing embroidery. I'm okay. like a cute little grandma on Friday nights doing yes. embroidery. Okay. <laughs> Make sure y'all pull up to Milton High School tonight to support your football team at their first playoff game. Lois made us a hype video to get us ready for tonight. Let's take a look. Hi, Coach Devine here. Uh, looking forward to our playoff game, first round game in Milton High School tomorrow at 730. I want you to come out to white out, so wear your white. Uh, we're looking forward to a big challenge. Number two team in the country. Uh, Going to go in there and fight and like we've been all year. Super proud of our kids, super proud of our team and coaches uh, and school and support. So come support us one more time. Really appreciate you and love you guys. Well, Wolverines, I think that's all we have for y'all today. On a special note, Latin Club is collecting donations of food items and hygiene products for the Never Alone Food Pantry here at Woodstock. All items can be dropped off at room 725 through November 22nd. The first period with the most donations will get a yummy breakfast of free donuts and the teacher will get their lunch duty covered by admin the week after the break. And for all students who need service hours, five items equals one service hour. And with that, I'm Sarah Kate. And I'm Kai. Make, Make it, it a great, great day, Woodstock. Woodstock.